Right, so um, this is our first attempt at a podcast, this which, or is it a second attempt? Because we did try one a while we, ago. We tried a, a, t- a trial one a while ago to see how that went, but that was on over like an hour long. So. Well, for the past hour, we've been trying to screw with this bloody microphone. This microphone it, is actually trash. trash. Like, uh, full on trash. Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, well, but we're trying mind. to see the, the, the optimistic side, and... You know, we're not here to talk about shit microphones. We're here no, to no. talk about uh, Wonder Woman 89, the new movie that has just gone all over you the mean, world. You mean Wonder Woman 1984? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 1984. The, it's obviously the new, the new uh, Wonder Woman movie that's been released yeah. um, on HBO Max. Yeah. I watched this on Boxing Day with my girlfriend. And I don't, I don't know when you watched it. I watched it not, just and I just days tried after. to not talk about it because I wanted to do a yeah, yeah, recording we, we about it. Have a yeah, 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 this. yeah. So, what well, kicking us off? How did you, did, you, did you like it? Personally, I did enjoy the film. I liked the film. I yeah. thought it was a lot of fun. Well, I also like. Well, I, I know people yeah. that don't like the first film, and I really still like the first film. I, I think the first film is great. The first film's good. It's just the, the you know the ending is just a bit kind of rushed. Yeah, this, I would. It's I, just, I could happily Aries. rewrite that ending and. Mm. You know, people yeah. would still probably still get. Oh yeah, we, we should it. probably mention that if you haven't seen Wonder Woman 1984 already. Oh yeah, the spoilers are coming. Yeah, in. we're, we're going to spoil this movie, so go watch it and then come back and watch this. Yeah. So we're in the UK, so we couldn't really watch it for for you know and pay for it anyway. So yeah, so we had to find other means of. I mean, no, we didn't. We you know yeah yeah you can cut that out. Cut <laughs> yeah that out. yeah, that's out <laughs> on the editing <laughs> floor. Exactly. But, yeah. but you know, it's 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 nothing amazing. It's not like. The next Shazam. It's not like a groundbreaking or, movie like the first one or, or The Dark Knight. Yeah. Or, you know? or Black Panther. Or Black Panther. It's definitely not. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a fun superhero movie. Yeah, this is really. what I put in my notes. Also, I was the only one who did notes for this. Dan just didn't. I, I, I just, it slipped my mind. <laughs> it slipped his mind, yeah. Okay. But I, I, I put in my notes, it was the perfect distraction from the shit going on. I put in the world, but it's mainly in this country. Yeah. You know, I don't hear about the rest of the world going through this crap anymore. Or it's just us. Yeah. Because we're, we're, we're running out of ideas yeah. of how to deal with this yeah. stupid pandemic. Yeah. But um, it's, it's... Well, it's not that we are. It's just our, our leaders are. Oh, no. I'm running out of ideas. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm oh, so what? bored. Oh, this okay. is why I watch this bloody oh, okay. film. Oh, okay. You're running out of ideas. I say bloody film like I didn't enjoy it. I did yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, um, but no, I don't know. There was a lot to enjoy about this film. And it's not... And it's definitely not your typical DC movie that everyone gets nowadays, where it's all dark and gritty. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's um, not dark and gritty. It is fun. It. I thought it would have played more into the '80s side of it, like a lot like Stranger Things or It, but it didn't. I thought it was gonna be a bit like X Men Apocalypse and Days of Future Past, where Quicksilver comes in and throws in a bit of nostalgia. It was a bit like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you know when she's in the gym, yeah, with the jumpsuit, with the blue jumpsuit. And I, when I say she, I mean Barbara, Kristen Wiig's character. We'll get back to that. Yeah, we'll get back to that because that is still spoiler territory. Yeah. But my next note on this was, um, you know, Gal Gadot is, you know, still likable. You can't... She's been likable there's, since there's she not, first appeared. There's really not a lot... There's barely anything to dislike about Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She's mm. she's done amazing with the role since she was cast. Yeah. The only thing I put, and this is going into a spoiler, um, there's one exception on, on this film where I was like, really? That's not very nice, is it? You know at the beginning when Barbara drops all of her papers and shit? Yeah. Yeah. Gal Gadot, you know, Wonder Woman, goes to help her. Uh-huh. And then she can't wait to be rid of her. That's not nice. You know? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> that's not even being sympathetically nice. <laughs> it's just being like... You know? That's been like... Okay, I would have found it a bit more, you know... You know, I... I I, I don't know what people want from she's films just, these days. She's just gonna, she's just gonna go off and like, I'm gonna go um, and sip tea in my office now. No, no, no. I, I would have preferred her be do. like instead of I have put. You know, the only reason she gets interested in being friends with Barbara is because of the 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 Rock. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And not Dwayne Johnson, the Rock. I mean, this <laughs> Rock. <that laughs> you, grants... just, you just open a cr- an yeah. archaeological crate. And just put, if you're some man, uh, <laughs> what the wishing rock is cooking? Yeah, it's a, it's a wishing <laughs> rock, basically. It's basically a monkey paw, yeah. Which is the it's, whole plot. It, the, the, I, I've got more notes on that in a bit. Um, I, I would have been more. They are strong notes. I, I would have been more happy if it was an actual monkey paw. <laughs> that might have actually worked out. It, yeah. it an actual, of, you know, in like Rick and Morty, when she uses the monkey paw, it just, it just shrivels up as she does the wishes. Yeah. yeah or yeah. like in that, that old Simpsons yeah. episode. But I, I, I just thought it would have been a bit more competitive if she did actually. You know, she's been not to- talked to anyone since World War One. 
Yeah, she's she not opened she, up she, to anyone. She's really distanced yeah. herself. From so the past. why not? She like, just thinks in the back of her mind, you know what? I'm gonna be nice. I want a friend, and this woman looks very. I mean, that shows when she, when they go out to have brunch. Yeah, instead of her. Yeah, it does. But that, <laughs> would, would would that have? She learned the brunch thing from the Flash. Yeah, she did. But <laughs> the Justice League Flash. Yeah, we'll get we'll get back to that later on in the year once we, once we get the Snyder, the Snyder cut. cut out. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I just wish she didn't go to lunch with her out of pity or with her own self-interest at heart she, you'd prefer it if it was if it was general, real if it was general interest yeah. in the person itself yeah, yeah. You know, that makes sense I suppose. Nice. Mm. yeah I suppose okay just being nice next topic alright yeah we're moving on um, the next thing I put is they, they really up the ante on the villains in this film Yes, they I thought the villains were the best part. Yeah, because like especially in the last one where he just shows up at, at the end. end. Yeah, he's then and he wasn't fleshed out. That was they so thought, wrong. oh, let's flesh out yeah. our villains. Yeah. let's actually I mean, do something good with our villains. Yeah, Pedro, stuff. Pedro Pascal and Kristen Wiig really did well with what they yeah, did. Yeah, they, 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 they were they given. Shined in this and Kristen Wiig especially because I had so low expectations. So did I. When I, I thought heard, when she, I heard first off, I heard that Cheetah was going to be in the film, and I was kind of like, oh, pff, what do we do? And then you hear Kristen Wiig is going to be playing Cheetah. And, like, don't get me wrong, she's a great actress in films like uh, Bridesmaids and. But you thought they would have yeah, got someone. I mean, she's, on... she's not the typical actress you'd see in a high budget action superhero movie. Because I mean, she's, 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 her, like, her typecast is like comedy. Mm. And you you'd never expect it. But the obvious answer to be like, oh, who is the perfect counter to Gal Gadot? You'd get, like, another supermodel level actress, but. No, Kristen Wiig does really well. She and did do very well. Um, I get, and, and, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's parts in this movie where I kind of fancied her a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I fancied the nerd one, not the, the not the scary one. Um, just before she goes out and buys that really flashy dress. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You know when she wakes up the next morning, she adjusts her nerdy clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, that's where I kind of thought, ma'am. I'm a little turned on right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the, the, the cheetah CGI at the end? Um, now, here's the thing. Well, I, I'm I heads or tails it. on it. I'm very heads or tails on it as well. But um, I'll get back to this in a second. Because yeah. personally, the CGI, um, it's clearly... There's a reason why it w- that scene was done at night. To hide bad CGI. Because if that was done in the daytime, you could tell that that CGI would look like an yeah, they did the Jurassic rubbish Park bag. Yeah, yeah. It was, um, I, I, I didn't mind the CGI. And I'm one of them people who have seen cats. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I've seen cats twice. You luckily I are a stronger man than me. Luckily, I haven't been sober for either of those times. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> sober when I watched it. But, but she looked better than all of the people in the cats yeah, movie. It's very similar, but... It's... Her feet weren't human feet. No, she didn't have human feet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I wasn't really looking at her feet either. But I, I see loads of people pointing out that one shot, and I'll, you know, I'll do an edit where we show the face. But that one shot where it's very close on her face, and I thought that shot was really, really cool. But as someone who likes practical effects and makeup, why didn't they do that? But then I think. Oh, I get why they didn't, because it would look like the cat people from Doctor Who. Yeah, that's probably yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they probably didn't do that for the Cats movie either. That film just... Uh, that should have just been kids' face paint. Let, let's just appreciate that the Cats film is dross. Absolute yeah. dross. <laughs> right, let's forget about the cheater now. Okay. Let's talk about Pedro. 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 Oh, yeah. this is the way. This is the way, yeah, yeah. Um, he, I think, you know, around the end especially, I think, he steals the movie underneath Christian Reed's... He, he does, yeah. Especially like that last scene after he's um, renounced his wish and he goes back to his son. Spoilers again, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, we're, yeah. we're going proper into yeah. spoiler, but, spoiler heavy territory. Um, here's where I ca- what I thought about with Maxwell Lord. The plot of this movie is fucking dumb. Yeah, it's got a proper dumb plot. And I said, this is a waste of Maxwell Lord, but it's not a waste of Pedro Pascal. No, not at no. all. He did so well with what he was given, I yeah. think. He makes it so fun. Mm. And I think people forget that villains have to be fun. Yeah, um, that's true. But he's a super genius, so why is he relying on wishes? Or meant to be... In the comics, he's a super genius. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It's really dumb. Uh, I, mean, I, can, I can't remember what they did with Maxwell Lord on Supergirl. Yeah. Who uh, is he in Supergirl? I don't know. No, no, no I, was, was, I was going to say this whole, oh, whole plot. I don't know the name of the actor, but I know what else he's been in. It's the guy who was in Twilight, weren't it? 
Yes. He played the vampire dad. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know who else was meant to play? Well, who played or was meant to play Maxwell Lord? Like in the cancelled one, it was, it no, was Jay yeah. Baruchel, yeah, wasn't he, it? Jay Baruchel. Jay Baruchel was meant Jay to be Max Baruchel. Lord. Good old, good old hiccup. Yeah. Toothless. This, this is Burke. <laughs> this is Burke. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was meant to play Maxwell Lord, the villain in a cancelled Justice League film from two thousand and eight. For those who don't know. For those who don't know, directed by George Miller. Mad Max Fury. Mad Max Fury Road. Amazing. I would have liked to have seen that I, film. I want to see that movie. That movie. There's, yeah. there's so many cancelled movies I still yeah. want to see. And then, do you know who was meant to play him in the cancelled Supergirl? No, not Supergirl. Um, Wonder Woman series from like 2011. It was Pedro, wasn't it? It wasn't Pedro, no. He was in it. He was in it, but I, who, who was, was it? it? Who was it was um, Saw cut, he cut off his foot guy, uh, Lawrence Gordon. What? Carrie Elway? Yeah. It? yeah Prin- Prin- Princess, Princess Bride? Bride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was him. There's footage of this somewhere, but, you know. Oh, I'm, wow. Not a strong enough man to go and watch that. Oh dear. Still, yeah. We digress. <laughs> we digress. Yeah. Continue. On, right. onwards, onwards. Directed by Disney Pixar. That's a banging film. That's a great film. Should we talk about that next? Could do. Should we ditch Wonder Woman and just talk about that now? Could do. No, 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 no. no. It's fine. We're here to talk about Wonder Woman. But the next um, note I have on my list was things just kind of happen with no real depth explanation. No gravitas. But here's what I brackets this. I brackets the invisible jet. Don't! I love that moment! <laughs> that, oh my god, I screamed when that happened. Oh, I did have a little bit of a oh nerd my, fit. I but, got, but, no, no, you know, oh. here's, here's what was going on in my brain when that scene was happening. Mm-hmm. It's like, they were in the jet and they were getting followed. And then, like, she started making the invisible thing. I thought know, she was going to Hadouken out the I thought, I thought she kind of was as well. I was just going, Kame, Hame, Ha! But no. Um, and then I kind of sat there and I was just like, no, surely not. Surely not. Surely they won't do that. Wait. 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 Well, I, I thought, and then there it was. I thought the invisible jet was going to be, you know the bit where she runs up the side of uh, Washington and like whips in the air and goes, oh, you, you thought she was going to last someone to the... Well, I the thought jet. she was just going to fly there because on the set photos, she's hung on the wires because she's clearly hung on wires. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but, but she's literally looks like woo, like she's driving a car, mm. but she's there's nothing around her because yeah. she's on wires. Oh, right. If you look at the set photos, why don't they just do? Why don't just do what they did in Captain America: Civil War with the invisible carpet? Yeah, that's a clever, or the magic yeah, carpet yeah. as they call it. But that's the invisible jet. It kind of just you know, oh, now she can make shit invisible. Now I don't know if that was like I I, I don't know if I want to classify that as like a big plot point or just like the biggest easter egg in any kind of dc movie maybe not any kind of dc movie but it's a big it's a it's, it's a, it's a damn easter big easter egg. egg it's them just thinking oh fuck it put that in there yeah exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah but um, i also put the golden armor what about it the golden armor has not a lot of explanation behind it it has like one exposition flashback scene and that's it yeah it's, I suppose it's and there's true. obviously the golden statue at the beginning which i yeah. do want to talk about the opening scene, was it needed? Um, honestly? On Themyscira. No. No. It, it, it feels like it, it deserves its place in Wonder Woman in the first it, one. Yeah, Wonder it does. Movie, not in this one. It, uh, I mean, not to be... We said we enjoyed this film, and now we're kind of shit. Yeah, but kind it. of yeah. just ripping into it. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying not to do I feel it. kind of bad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, Should we stop doing this? <laughs> I also uh, did have a problem with Steve Trevor's return. Really? Yeah, I think the wish 100% did not make sense. Because there's that one guy, there's the guy whose body he inhabits. Yeah. But I also, we also come up with a, when me and my girlfriend were watching this, we came up with an alternate way to, for that to work out. What, to bring him back? Or to... No, not to bring him back, but if they were still going to be like, oh, I wished him back, but he's in the body of someone else. Yeah. And now I can magically see him. Why isn't the, what we see as the audience... Why isn't that still the guy who got an acting job but is now being sh- overshadowed by Chris Pine? Why isn't it his face throughout the whole movie? But then maybe when he looks in a mirror or in a window... It's Chris Pine. Yeah. But instead it's the other way around. What a clever visual that could have been. But it's no, it. they just said, I'll just get Chris Pine again. Now they're just doing a vampire trick where they look in the mirror and it's not what they expect. They're just fucking invisible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think the Steve Trevor bit was a bit much. But again, but it's a dumb comic book movie, so just get over it. Yeah, that's true. But on, on that note, you can't fall... Um, Godot's and Pine's chemistry on screen. Yeah, but I think they had better in the first film. I suppose. I, I really do think they had better. Well, I enjoyed them both more in the first one. I don't know. They kind of seem like, oh, look at us, the lovey dovey couple in this one. It's the perfect, I want it, but I can't have it. I suppose. Sort of 
tail. With yeah, them I, I suppose that kind of makes sense. I will, I will say that. I, I did enjoy that, but I also thought it was kind of dumb mm. what, that her powers slowly got. I mean, it does. I mean, it makes like sense. For, I, I know it's dumb for the plot of the movie, but mm. like, obviously, you make a wish and then you have to pay something that you that you care to, about yeah, in, in return. In return. Yeah. Mm. Like, what did Barbara lose? Her humanity. Oh, did you not clock that? Oh yeah. Sorry, I kind of just thought. I just kind of thought that, like, if you become really strong, you just lose, and, like, I don't know, your pet or something. No, I just kind of thought if you become like really strong, you just become a douchebag. <laughs> That's a good point. What other movies have done that? Uh, got to think about this. Give me a minute. Uh, Incredible Hulk. Incredible. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Abomination. Yeah. Abomination. He seemed like a nice guy who just wanted to be a really good soldier, and then when he was like, "Oh no, I want to get hooked up on some Hulk drugs," yeah. <laughs> he, Hulk he drugs. becomes a proper douche, an ugly one and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. How do you feel that Wonder Woman? Flies in this film, like on her own. You know what? I don't actually know. I mean, it's because I mean, there's times in like comic books and TV shows where she does fly, then mm. times where she doesn't. But like, and I, I don't want to sound weird, but and like, I'm kind of discounting this, but it does completely fuck up the continuity. It does, yeah. It's becoming the X Men movies. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Because yeah. what if if that was the case? Why didn't she fly when she was kicking the shit out of Doomsday? Doomsday yeah. Why didn't she fly when she was kicking, kicking the shit out of Superman and the rest of the Justice League? Mm. I don't know. Well, she didn't beat all the rest of the Justice League. Yeah, Superman did. Yeah, Superman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I just thought, you know, in terms of superhero flying scenes, Man of Steel did that so much better. Yeah, true. And one, exactly, yeah, Wonder Woman didn't really I, explain I, I, it very I feel, well. I feel like in regards to flying scenes... Um, you can clearly tell it's it's the difference between like um, a superhero who knows that they definitely can fly, mm. and then one who's like, okay, let me just test the waters. Because Superman's first flight scene is literally bombarded in your face, whereas like the Wonder Woman one is nice and calm and collected and internal. Okay, so we're finishing up now. I've only got a couple more notes left. Here's one that I did actually really want to talk about, and. It's one of the parts of the film around the end when I sort of sank. Well, I say in my seat. I was on a. I was on my bed watching this film, and I sort of sank like, "Holy shit!" I forgot. I like heard about like this. you're laying on a marshmallow. Like I'm laying on a marshmallow. You're gonna sink to the floor. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, that car alarm's going off again. Oh, uh, it stopped. Yeah, it's fine. All right, just leave it. But yeah, this bit during the end is when. You know, Diana can't get through to Maxwell Lord. And he's, you know, wishing the world the good place and the bad place of what everyone wants or blah dee 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 And a, sa- a bit, bit of soundtrack, of the, look, a bit of some of the soundtrack from Batman vs. Superman starts yeah, playing. You told me this and I didn't know what it was until it came yeah. up. But I'm. That's one of my favourite bits of soundtrack in a film ever. You know, BBS had it, it, an it did, amazing I soundtrack. Did, I did get so a, did Man of Steel. I did have a moment where I was sitting on my beanbag mm. and I was. You watched it on a beanbag. Yeah, I, I sat. You watched it on one of these beanbags. I was watching it right here. I was watching it on the computer. You sad, sad man. Well, that's what you do when you're single, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I th- I thought it was a very nice callback and respect to Zack Snyder's to start on this world that didn't. And who doesn't love a bit of Hans Zimmer in the yeah, movie? Yeah, exactly. Who doesn't? Well, Hans Zimmer did the whole score for this film. Exactly. Yeah. But um, no, I, th- I I did say something really funny at the end when I finished watching it to my girlfriend. I said, oh, can you imagine if the reason that's in there is because while that's going on, Bruce Wayne's parents are getting shot as we speak. Don't give me that face, Dan, because she shot me down. I didn't think about no, that. No, 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 Dad. Wait, what? She shot me down straight off. Oh, no, off. no, no. There's proof that... There's Venice. proof. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. She looked up on the Google, the goggle, straight away. <laughs> when were Bruce Wayne's shot, uh, parents shot in Batman vs. Superman? And it said 1981. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. So, yeah, it kind of ruined my dreams. Only a few years out. But never mind. Only a couple years. But yeah. no, 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 no. Facts are facts. Yeah, true. Yeah. Whoopie-doo. And Wonder Woman shouldn't be able to fly in this movie. That's the facts. <laughs> Yeah, um, the last two notes were just the movie is just fine. 
It's just an okay film. It's a good popcorn movie. Yeah. You know? Um, like we said at the beginning, it's no Shazam, it's no Dark Knight, and it's not anything that's going to depress you like Batman vs. Superman. I, I think, or I think anything it's, like that. Um, um, I feel like it's slightly less enjoyable than Aquaman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd put that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'd say that. Yeah, I think if I, there was a ranking of all the DC movies, then you put it just under. I'd put it. I'd put it just below Aquaman. Oh, yeah, but, but I a, like that's Aquaman. A good, that's a good I, like I really Aquaman. like Aquaman. I like Aquaman. That's a very good um, film. But I also put in recent memory, it's not DC's worst. Definitely not. Nah, nah. I mean, Justice League is straight at the bottom, mm. and I say Justice League because I'm not going to this now because <laughs> I, I will go off on an hour long tangent. But we'll go into this another time. Yeah. But I also, I also think it's better than Birds of Prey that came out this year. Um, I still, After, I still enjoy Birds of Prey, but like, I don't think it's great. Nah, it should have just been the Harley Quinn movie. It really should. They they, they mistitled it for once. But in term comparing the two films, Wonder Woman eighty nine, eighty four, sorry, not eighty nine, Wonder Woman eighty four and Birds of Prey, this film had much more likable characters. That is true. Whereas Wonder Woman eighty nine only the only. No, not Wonder Woman. What is your significance with 1989? I don't know what is the significance. Are you, are you thinking of Batman? A bit oh, of, probably, yeah. A bit of Michael Keaton? A bit of Michael Keaton, yeah. Jack Nicholson, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You want to dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I wasn't thinking that quote. I was just thinking Prince music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, anyways, we got to get on to editing this video now because that's going to be a royal pain in the ass. This is going to be long. Yeah, we're, gonna we're going to be yet. sat here for at least another three hours. Just making cuts. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're going to do. Oh, we'll get that when we get our takeaway. Yeah. 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 McDonald's or Chinese. I haven't got there yet. Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get figure around. it out. We'll get around to that. Yeah. But, you know, if you did listen and stick to the end, thanks for listening. And if you would like to hear some more rants about what me and him think of anything, yeah. please leave it down, like, leave a comment somewhere. Leave us some, some suggestions as well. Yeah, and some suggestions. We, we, that'd, we, be, that'd be a lot of fun. We, we love ideas because we don't have any because we're not original. Mm. <laughs> Just... Lord of God, do not make me watch Hamilton. What's wrong with Hamilton? I'm not watching Hamilton. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk Let's about Let's finish this, this we'll now. We'll talk about this it. another time. Yeah, right. Okay, see you later, everyone. Okay, bye-bye.